Hi everyone. So in this video, we will discuss about uh, the different types of the tumor and the various of uh, the cancer causing agents. And along with this, we will be discussing about the different types of the symptoms which are being shown in that of the cancer patient. So let's get into the details of uh, what are the differences between the benign tumor and uh, malignant tumors. So generally, as we know, there are two such kinds of the tumors which are being seen in the human body. One is called as the benign tumor, which is generally said to be a non-cancerous tumor. Meanwhile, the malignant tumor is being uh, explained as a, a cancerous tumor. So what are the differences between these two types of the tumor? The first one is uh, the rate of growth. So rate of growth when we consider, so benign tumor growth is very slow and it takes more time. So what actually happens in a benign tumor is the cells which are there, they continuously proliferate and they result in the formation of a tumor which is being confined to a particular place or it is being localized. So thereby that is being regarded as benign tumor where this growth of this benign tumor is slow whereas the malignant tumor so they repeatedly divide the cells keep on dividing and thereby we say that malignant tumors rate of growth is rapid or it is fast next is mode of growth so in the mode of growth benign tumors are non invasive and malignant tumors are invasive so what actually is uh, meant by invasive invasiveness these means these are the cells which are able to uh, travel from one particular part to that of the other part through that of the blood. So that is the infection of this cancerous cells will be more to that of the different parts of the body. That is why we call it as invasive. Whereas here in the benign tumors, it is being non-invasive. So the difference is here, as I told you in the benign tumor, it has been localized to a particular part. Whereas malignant tumors are non-localized, which means the cancerous cells keeps on uh, entering into the blood and thereby they move to different parts of the body and thereafter they result in the formation of a new tumor. So thereby malignant tumors are generally said to be fatal or life threatening, whereas benign tumors are not so uh, life threatening. Next is a capsule. So benign tumors are capsulated, which means they are being covered by a protective covering. Thereby, that is the reason that benign tumors are localized. Meanwhile, the malignant tumors are uncapsulated, which means the outer layer of the cancer cells are able to separate out from the tumor. That is the reason, that is the reason due to which the metastasis is being exhibited by the malignant tumor whereas metastasis is totally absent in the benign tumors. Next is hemorrhage and necrosis. So hemorrhage and necrosis is absent in that of benign tumors whereas hemorrhage and necrosis generally occurs in that of the malignant tumors that is cell death. Okay, Cell death that is a normal cell death will occur due to uh, the cancerous cells. Okay, that is what we call necrosis. Thereafter is differentiation. Benign tumor, the cells which are present in the benign tumor, so they are able to differentiate. So that differentiation can be seen in that of the benign tumors, whereas in the malignant tumor, the cancer cell differentiation is being variable. Due to this variability, these uh, malignant tumors are known to have anaplasia and anaplasia is that particular condition where uh, what we say is uh, the matured cells which are there so they uh, come out of the tumors and result in the formation of a neoplasm so that anaplasia can be seen only in the malignant tumor whereas it is there absent in the benign tumor next is as i already told you that the cancer cells okay are known to form the tumors and those are said to be malignant tumors whereas the cells when they form the normal cells when they divide and they form so that becomes a 
a benign tumor which is generally uh, very rarely it can get converted into a malignant tumor so generally we say that benign tumors are non cancerous and malignant tumors are cancerous so this is uh, the differentiation between the benign tumor as well as malignant uh, tumor thereafter how actually is the disease dreadful disease cancer is being caused so the cancer causing agents whatever we have so these cancer causing agents are called as carcinogens and we have mainly three types of the carcinogens which are known to induce cancer in the human body so first one is called physical agent the second one is called chemical agent and the last one is called as biological agents so the first one we have is a physical agent so physical agents generally here for example whenever the body is being exposed to that of uh, the heavy sunlight where the ultraviolet radiations are there so these ultraviolet radiations are known to induce the cancer meanwhile x rays and other radi uh, ionizing radiations which are there all these are known to induce cancer in that of the human body apart from this we have radioactive radiations which means the radiations which are being emitted by the radioactive elements so those are also known to convert the proto oncogenes to cellular oncogenes and that results in the conversion of a normal cell into a cancer cell so that is the physical agent so where it includes uv rays x rays ionizing radiations and uh, radioactive radiations all these are physical agents next we have is the chemical agents so chemical agents are various types which are known to cause different types of the cancers for example i have made some uh, list of the chemical carcinogens which are known to induce cancer such as soot or smoke so that induces skin or lung cancer cadmium oxide causes prostate cancer aflatoxin okay so that is known to induce liver cancer similarly we have mustard gas which induces lung cancer diethyl sildenafil vaginal cancer polyvinyl chloride induces liver cancer nicotine induces lung cancer whenever it is being smoked there after it is being chewed then it causes oral or mouth cancer stomach cancer so different types of cancers are being there because of the nicotine thereafter we have sex hormones so sex hormones when they are being introduced or injected into the body they are known to cause breast cancer and very important is the one thing which has been commonly used in our daily life that is what we have is artificial sweeteners and along with that we have the caffeine which is being present in the coffee so these artificial sweeteners generally we have uh, an artificial sweetener uh, known as saccharin so that saccharin and caffeine is known to cause digestive tract cancer so it is not only these but there are many number of uh, uh, the chemicals which are known to induce cancer so that is some of the chemicals which are known to ca cause cancer in my list thereafter we have uh, biological agents for the first time uh, patent rouse identify that the cancer can be even induced by the biological agents such as viruses so viruses i have a list here for example we have epstein barr virus thereafter human papilloma virus thereafter hepatitis b virus hepatitis c virus thereafter herpes simplex virus virus 8 helicobacter pylori all these are okay the biological agents which are known to cause the cancer so that was being for the first time it was being uh, research was being conducted by peter rouse and for that discovery he was being awarded a nobel prize right so these are the three uh, types of the carcinogens which are known to cause the cancer now whenever a person has a cancer okay 
a malignant cancer so what actually are the symptoms which are being shown by his body so symptoms we have is a tumor which is being present a lump or a bump or we can say that a hard area so that is being present in a particular part of the body thereafter is a, the sore throat which does not heal for a longer period of time see generally whenever we suffer from a common cold so thereafter we get an infection upper respiratory tract infection will be there due to which an individual will have sore throat but when we take medications for that again sore throat will be normalized and uh, everything will get healed up but whenever a person suffers from cancer so that sore throat does not get healed up thereafter is loss of the body weight next is persistent cough the cough will be continuous for many number of the days so that is an, another symptom for that of cancer thereafter change in the color of a mole or a wart if a body has an outgrowth we generally call it as a wart or a mole so that color changes so that is also one of the symptom of uh, the cancer thereafter is change in that of the digestive whatever the food we intake so that is a change thereafter is the bowel habit so the fecal matter the color of the fecal matter or it may be the nature of the fecal matter so that also gets altered in a cancer patient and along with that loss of blood through the orifice so generally in case of the females whenever they have this uh, bleeding phase or the menstrual phase so bleeding phase continuously occurs for many number of the days okay although when she was normal okay she might have around 4 to 5 days of the menstrual phase but in a female who is having the cancer so blood uh, flow may uh, continuously occurs for many number of days so that will be one of the symptom and very important is the difficulty in swallowing all these are the set of the symptoms which are being noticed or observed in that of the cancer uh, having individuals so this is all about uh, today's video where we have discussed the two types of the tumors one is benign tumor the other one is malignant tumor thereafter the three types of the carcinogens and the symptoms of uh, the cancer patient okay so this is all about today's video thank you